And you, Thank God I you did, skipped yes. the university route or did you go to college? Um, I did. Well, here's the deal. So I got offered a scholarship somewhere, but they're like, okay, you have to work 40 hours a week here. And the exact same week I got offered that, I got offered a job with Nickelodeon okay. to work as a game show host. And I was like, What oh, school were you going to uh, intended to go to? I was going to go to Valencia Community College and then into UCF, the okay. theater program. I had to go but, to Valencia first because my grades and my stuff was not good. Because <laughs> I never went, because I was in comedy clubs all the time. I'm the worst student ever. <laughs> I'm the worst Unless student. it's improv, then you're uh, a great yeah, student. Then I'm great, yeah. So Nickelodeon called. Yes, they just called. Hello, is this long? No, uh, no I'd, I've been auditioning in and I'd been working at this point. I've been kind of starting to work at Universal a little bit and doing some things. And they had just um, sort of the same equity stuff you're doing now, like just yeah, working. Yeah, they had they have the theme park stuff there, the improv and shows and theme park. What shows. do they call it? Not background, but like uh, street street performers. Streetmosphere. Streetmosphere. Yeah, Is that they had all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I worked at the Nickelodeon there, sliming kids and doing oh, all that cool. stuff, which was really fun. And worked at the Hitchcock experiences of Janet Lee because back then I could still pretend to be in the shower in a nude <laughs> unitard because I was still a dancer, so skinny. And then um, worked at a Herkinsina special effects show. Okay. And so a lot of fun shows out there. And um, but Nickelodeon was my favorite, and I was. Uh, Slime Kids, and they, they said, "Want to do Slime Time Live?" Which is a oh, wow. tour of the country, Slime Kids, and it was called Game Lab Live, actually. And so, yeah. So you just started hosting, started this, doing that and, show, and I talked to a lot of my friends, including that same guy who lured me out of the uh, Matt uh, Young, uh, yeah. And he was like, "You know what? Uh, he has this full degree, and he has a full degree now, of course." But he's like, "You're doing the stuff that I want to do, also, but you're doing it without the degree. Just keep doing that. And yeah. then if you want to go back to school? Go back." So I was like, "I will." And now at my ripe old age, I'm like, "Man." Eh. Uh, Wait, elaborate on the show. So it's just like a live show. That it, it's like almost like uh, I don't know uh, uh, Indiana Jones, basically, but it's Nickelodeon themed, right. uh-huh. and you're hosting. Yeah. Basically, it's a Nickelodeon show, but with the live setting. Yeah, so basically, at as Universal. theme park guests would come through, they'd be like, "What's it like to be on Double Dare?" Now you can see, and you'd, the kids would get to experience that. So it was like every half hour, every forty five minutes. Yeah, or yeah, something. you just crank through the shows. But then the tour did that on the road, which was awesome because you'd, oh. you'd be out, off all week just being an actor and auditioning for stuff and around town and or doing improv classes or teaching improv, and then on the weekend you get flown out to like Tupelo, Mississippi to slime the town's mayor at the oh, new fun. at the new you know Parisian opening at the <laughs> mall and so you'd go there and like slime him and you hosted and, all those yeah that was so much fun that did really you have good. a co-host or anything to bounce yeah, off yeah it was a co-host we'd go out, out together and often the co-host might be coming from somewhere else around the country you'd kind of meet up and like you oh, know fun. Fort Lauderdale whatever do a show and then fly back out but it'd pay for your entire week which is awesome it was what, my favorite job what's slime feel like it feels uh, like slime. It's very slimy, very sticky, and uh, it feels a lot like applesauce. Is it cold? Uh, it is cold. It's very cold. Yeah. Gross. It's cold and slimy and green <laughs> and thick. Yeah. It, but it smells like apples. Oh. Yeah. So how long did you, how long did you, it probably is like an apple paste. Mm, I can't tell you. Do you know what it is? It's a secret. Yeah, we'd make it. We make it in the slime kitchen. What? Well, I worked in the GAC kitchen is one of my other things I got to do. I, I had that on my resume for GAC a while. GAC is weird. I was a, a GAC Meister and Slimeologist was on my resume for a while. Uh, I got to wait, make, wait, wait. I got to make the booger GAC in the GAC kitchen. How do, how do you go from like a, uh, uh, a talent, quote unquote talent, to in the factory making. <laughs> well, one of the Nickelodeon experiences that people could go through was they do the game show thing, and before they got to the game show, they would go through the, the take a tour of the Nickelodeon studios. Yeah. And as they come through, you'd go, Welcome to the Gat Kitchen. They had like a little show moment where you'd be up there as a chef. You'd go, Welcome to the Gat Kitchen. They'd come in there, and you got to do your little Gak spiel. We'd go, like, This is Booger Gak. Who wants to try it? Oh, and, so it was performance. Yeah, it was a little performance based thing. But, but that was the real work, stuff? Yeah, and you'd actually work in the kitchen where they would film all the shows, and some, so some days you can actually make stuff. Yeah, do they, they but still they do people. this? Uh, is Nickelodeon still a thing there? They have Nickelodeon, but not ex- not the exact same location anymore. But it is still happening. But yes. they, so they still do the GAC stuff. Is, do they still make GAC? I don't know if GAC is still being made currently. Uh, Mall of America way. in Minneapolis is now. I think Nickelodeon. it's Nickelodeon Universe, yeah, right? Yeah, they probably do a show just like that there. Really? I don't think there's probably some eager beaver. Because <laughs> I was going to say this Nickelodeon sounds way better. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool. It was really cool. Look up pictures online of the old yeah Nickelodeon Studios tour. You'll see. It's I definitely cool. will. That's sweet. <laughs> 